A charging order is an order of the court placing a charge on the judgment debtor's property, such as a house or a piece of land or stocks and shares. The charge is the amount the creditor is owed. The charging order does not force the debtor to sell the property and it may not get the creditor his or her money immediately, but it may safeguard the creditor's money for the future. This hearing will take place when an interim charging order has already been placed on the judgment debtor's property. The charging order hearing is an opportunity for the judge to decide whether the charging order should continue. Generally, these hearings tend to be quite brief. The purpose of this hearing is to decide whether or not to make the charging order final. Have you served the papers? Yes, sir. Both the judgment debtor, the person against whom the judgment is being enforced, and the judgment creditor, the person who has successfully obtained judgment and is trying to enforce it, should attend the hearing so that the judge can establish whether a charging order should continue. If the charge continues, this means that if the property is sold, the charge usually has to be paid first, before the debtor receives any of the proceeds. The debtor will have received an interim charging order, and the hearing is an opportunity for the judge to speak to both parties and then decide whether to finalise the order. The judge will ask questions to find out whether the judgment is still valid, how much of the debt has been paid, and how much is outstanding. The judge will also ask for information about the property and any prior charges on the property. How much of the sum owed has already been paid? I did receive some payments, but... Then... This type of hearing tends to be held in the judge's chambers, the place where the judge usually works. This is still a court of law, and there will be a judge who will conduct the proceedings. In this type of hearing, the judge will be dressed in a business suit and not in robes, and will expect to be addressed as sir or madam. It is normal to remain seated when speaking to the judge in judges' chambers. Are you able to pay the outstanding balance today? Well, sir, I don't have the money at the moment and I have Both the creditor and the debtor can choose to have a legal representative present at the hearing if they wish, but this is not compulsory. The creditor may choose to have a representative attend in his or her place. The creditor and the debtor will be required to behave courteously and not to interrupt the judge or the other person when it is their turn to speak no matter how the other person might behave. The judge will ensure everything is correctly dealt with and that everyone behaves themselves. Often, several charging order hearings will be listed to begin in court at the same time. It is important to arrive at the court on time. The judge will decide when your case is called and will hear each case one by one.